Have you folks ever grabbed a tool and immediately it just feels like an extension of your body? It feels intuitive, it feels um, like a part of you, you're able to get things done quicker, easier, and safer than ever before. Well, that's how I feel every time I pick up my Hulsbrook one and three quarter pound 20 inch axe. This is a compact axe that I picked up um, in preparation for our life going into full-time RVing because you have very limited space and size. And so I needed something that wasn't as big as a full-blown two-handed axe, but I wanted something that had more power and punch and capability than just a one-handed compact hatchet. And so I came across this. It seemed to have the balance, the weight, the dimensions that I was looking for. And now after several months of use, guys, I am in love with this tool. It is so intuitive. Uh, it has the capability of a lot of slightly larger tools, but still has the nimble nimbleness of some of the smaller hatchets I have in my collection. And I'm super glad it was my one-stop shop choice for a compact axe when we hit the road. And so today I'm going to break it down for you, show you what this tool has going on. Now, the overall weight on this tool is 40 ounces, and that includes the sheath. So we could argue probably like 38 ounces overall. Uh, and with that 20, and it's actually 20 and a half from the very top to the very bottom, but they you know, say it's 20 inches, um, handle made out of hickory, good graining from everything that I understand about graining. You guys can tell me if I'm not correct, but it seems to have pretty good graining right there um, on it. That just means that it's going to hold up longer. It's not going to split, shatter, break, you know, whatever it is. Uh, really nice contouring with that leather lanyard and good lanyard hole right there. Now, right out of the gate, one thing that I really liked a lot about this is it has a perfect balance point as I was talking about for splitting and get the inertia um, that I need. And then the neck is still um, contoured enough and not so large that I can still choke up if I did have to get a quick feather stick in or if I'm doing minor um, shaping and carving of the wood, I'm still able to do that. Now, obviously a much more compact, lighter weight hatchet uh, or ax is going to be able to do that a lot better. You know, if you wanna do shaping of wood and make spears and, you know, do a lot of, you know, carving with your hatchet. Um, this isn't really designed for that, but it can be pushed into that role absolutely. Um, and then splitting a, of any kind, I was very happy with just from the ergonomic standpoint, didn't have any residual shock. Um, the mount is still really good. Haven't had any issues there with it, you know, pulling away or wanting to, to loosen up on the head. Uh, and that hickory handle just really does exactly what it's supposed to do. And that 20 inches is really this kind of sweet spot. Most hatchets come in around 14. Most axes are more like 24 to even 36 in that range. Um, so this is kind of this sweet spot giving you more length than what a hatchet has, but is more compact than most axes. And that could either be this perfect niche that you're looking for like me, or it could be a total headache for those of you who do just want that double-handed, over-the-head, massive beast to split with and chop with. Um, that may be the better way to go if size or weight is something that you really aren't concerned with. All right, guys, I want to hit the scabbard, um, you know, edge cover, whatever you want to call it, uh, with you. We got this really nice leather, um, you know, metal bolsters, leather loop on there really covers the face well. It's easy to put on. It's not overly bulky. Now, you're not going to be able to carry it on your belt. I would argue this is pushing belt carry. Now, you can buy some you know, aftermarket loops and things like that to run the uh, axe or large hatchet, whatever you want to call it, through. Um, but that works really well. I've never had it accidentally fall off on me and is really high quality. I'm very happy with that. And I'm just glad it comes with it. You'd be surprised how many axes and hatchets do not come with a scabbard of any kind and you either have to buy it on top of the tool itself and so that's going to charge you more money um, or you just have to go total custom and try and figure it out and find you know one online that maybe somebody made and you know or do kydex or something like that so it's just nice that this comes with a good scabbard that does exactly what it's supposed to do you got that leather and it's good and high quality and it works but guys, before we go any further in this video, I wanna give a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Health Code Complete Meal Shakes. Now guys, I've been telling you about Health Code here for months now because I've seen the results. Week after week, month after month now, in my own life and with my family, with my wife, using these complete meal shakes is an awesome 
option and they're going to be a lot healthier and give you a lot more nutrients and things that your body needs particularly when you're exerting yourself and what's awesome about these is that you're not only going to be getting non-gmo uh, gluten-free no soy no added sugars no added sweeteners no artificial ingredients it's keto friendly and with the 27 grams of protein and the 27 grams of healthy fats and 400 calories it's going to give you a lot more than just trying to survive and sustain yourself on a bunch of energy bars on the trail guys we are going to have a promo code for 15 percent off your purchase with eat with gt so i invite you guys go check out that hyperlink use that promo code not only lets them know that we sent you but it'll give you a good deal on some amazing meal replacement shakes that really keep you going and so with that folks let's go ahead and get back to it all right, let's jump right into the head. And uh, I'm hanging out at a campground in Moab, Utah. Bounced out of woods and into the desert for a little while, but that doesn't mean we can't talk about and show you how this hatchet can perform. So what we got here is a cutting edge of three and a quarter inches overall length. We got a six inch from edge to back of the pommel um, length and then what you have is a maximum thickness of one inch, uh, and then it tapers really well, just how you would want it to, really well done there. And it, uh, I mean, it splits. I mean, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. I think that's part of the reason why I like it so much is it has this great balance at um, 1.75 pounds to really do what needs to be done, but not be overly heavy, but also not feel too light. Like it's not able to do the work and push through the wood, regardless if you're splitting um, or you're chopping. And so that's what I really like about it is this one and a quarter pound, I wanna get some more one and a quarter pound head hatchets to just kind of use. I feel like it's a, this really good kind of blending of giving you power, but not giving you so much weight that it becomes unwieldy. The edge is holding well, the edge geometry was great. Um, you know, and that high carbon steel uh, works well. It's gonna be very easy to resharpen. I've tuned it up a few times without issue whatsoever, but it does have that great blending of splitting and chopping capability. Some hatchets or pushing into axes uh, are designed more for the splitting tasks uh, and they're not great for chopping or they're pretty thin and you know, they're great for chopping, but they just don't split well. And again, this is just giving me a really good balance and that's why I decided out of all of my hatchet collection, this was the one I was gonna take as my actual work tool on this RV adventure. So I wanna hit pricing with you um, real quick. I don't really have anything for competitive options in this weight class and size range. Uh, so I don't have competitive options for us today. But uh, if you're interested in this tool, it's kind of, um, you know, just with everything going on in the world today, distributing, uh, distributors are having a hard time getting their hands on certain tools. Uh, and so I, this is a little tricky to find right now. I believe I paid about $110 for it over on GP Knives. Uh, I will have links for you guys in the description box below. Uh, and I know Blaze Q carries it. I believe DLT Trading, I think I saw it in stock when I made this video for about 100. So between like 110, 120 bucks uh, is what you're going to pay on average. Let's say 100 to 120, let's say anywhere in there. And for the materials, the quality control, fit and finish, everything that I'm seeing, that's not only very competitive uh, with other models and brands and you know things that are out there. And so I feel like I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of the tool so far and it's holding up great. Well, guys, there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this video has been fun and entertaining, but also just giving you the information. That's what I always want to do in these type of videos, give you info, give you data, so that you can make a wise choice and go, dude, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, you know what? I actually think I need to go with the bigger model, or this seems too large and heavy and cumbersome for me. I need to dial it back. But for me, guys, just, oh, it's so feels so good and I love I love what it's been able to do for me so far on the road and uh, when I bust it out I know I'm going to get a lot of work done and I feel like uh, it's something that not only I can pass on to my boys but also uh, it, I'm able to beat on it use it and it gets the job done every time so uh, thanks so much for coming over today I invite you to check out the other video popping up subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber we throw up content like this every single week and until next time always remember stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there